How's it going everybody? I'm up north Airsoft and today's video is going to be over my World War II loadout. Keep in mind that this loadout isn't historically accurate in any way and all of my gear is reproduction. But if you'd like to get your own World War II reproduction gear, go to atthefront.com and I'll leave a link in the description for their website. But anyways, let's get on to this loadout. Starting from the top, I got an M1 steel pot helmet with an olive draft netting cover. And for being a reproduction helmet, this is pretty nice and well made. Comparing it to my real M1 helmet that I used for my Vietnam kit, there's not really too much of a difference, just between the liners. Moving on down to the uniform, it comes in two parts. You have this green style dress shirt and the tan M41 summer field jacket. Moving on down to the trousers, these pants are just some simple wool green pants. They are a little comfy. Moving on down, I have your traditional GI leggings. Footwear, I use the tan reverse upper boots. I think I might have got the wrong boots though. If I'm not mistaken, they use the more leather, darker style boot. Gear-wise, I use the M1 Garand style cartridge belt. On the left side of the belt, I keep my canteen, and on the right side, I put my first aid pouch. One downside of this gear is that it barely fits the magazines for my M1 Garand. Then again, this gear was more meant for reenactment than airsoft. Back of my harness system, I have the 1943 style haversack, and inside that haversack, I have the T-shaped handled shovel. I keep the shovel more for looks. I wouldn't actually keep that on my back in a real game. In primary for this loadout would be the ICS M1 Garand. If you guys haven't seen my review on this ICS M1 Garand, it's definitely one of my new favorite rifles. But if you think about it, this is just an old fashioned DMR. But if you guys want to see the review of this rifle, I'll leave a link in the description. Thoughts on this gear that it looks very nice and it's very comfy, but it can get pretty expensive. Especially if you're going to go hunt down some real World War II gear. But you'll definitely get some heads turning on the field. Well I think that's going to wrap it up for my World War II loadout. What did you guys think? I kind of enjoy the loadout myself. But don't forget guys, if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more airsoft content coming down. Hopefully I can have that Vietnam loadout video redone because it's really not my favorite. But anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.